you put yourself in a position to be able to pass a right now check. You gotta be able to establish relationships. Relationships is key to being able to be successful. That means that when I came to Harbor Lights in 2007, I established a relationship with, with the people and the staff that was at Harbor Lights to where they were saying, you know what, this position that I got over here is, I'm talking about, we need you to be about your business. And what I read in you right now is that you're about your business. Thank you, Deborah Winston, I appreciate you. So I go down there and I get this employment, right? Yes, it was $6.85, but I worked it like it was $40 an hour. So then I started to build my relationships with those employers to where the employers were saying, you know what, hey, we closing down over here, but I'm gonna give you a reference to somewhere else. And this is why the background check was irrelevant because only thing that they were going off is the right now check, meaning that I was getting a, re somebody was referring me to this person who they are close to. That means that I established a relationship with this person person over here, they went over here and said, give this person a shot. He's going to be able to come here. He's going to be there on time. He's going to work like a, like like an animal. He's going to be on it. And plus, the good brother is strong in the mug, too. Yeah. <laughs> I developed myself during the 10 years. That means that I filed for judicial release all the way throughout the 10 years, and I developed myself. I continue to develop myself because I said that I don't want to leave my success into the hands of if the law changed or if somebody just says that, you know what, I feel sorry for him. I said that I want to come to the table with something, meaning that, hey, I'm going to offer you something when I come to the table. I'm not coming like this. And that is in everything. That means that when I come to the table to me being a father, I'm coming to the table with some things. That means that my son is having trouble with Spanish and I'm telling him, exio mucho pero traigo mucho a la mesa, right? That means that I demand a lot, but I bring a lot to the table. So that means that I'm able to help my son because I didn't gotten information, so I'm gonna be valuable wherever I'm at. The problem is, is that people don't live up to the value that they, that they possess. And that's all in the mentality. So when the family members try, are trying to support your loved ones, the one thing that you do not wanna do is hear the stuff about, man, I know you can't get employed. They are always hiring. Even if they say they're not hiring, you're hiring. Give me a shot to talk to you. Because what I'm coming to the table with, I don't have none of the baggage. I don't have the unresolved childhood issues. I didn't attack, I didn't, I didn't tackle that while I was incarcerated. I don't have no forgiveness issues going on right now, right? So I'm a peaceful brother. That's mean that when you come across me, you like, man, hey, man, he's smiling from ear to ear. How do you do that? I want to be around you. Whatever you got going on, I want to attach myself to that. And when you got people that want to attach themselves to you, then that means that they are coming with opportunity. Opportunity comes through relationships. You have to be able to establish a positive relationship. You cannot establish a positive relationship if you have antisocial behavior. If you are saying that I'm going to come with a mean mug every time you see me. <laughs> who going to respond to that? Right? Like, only thing somebody going to do is say, man, hey, hold up, man. I'm going to go ahead and let you be over there with you, and I'm going to go over here and be over here. And this is the issue that guys face. They condition themselves to live in the streets. But what I tell them is that you got to prepare for where you want to be, unless you want to be in the streets. But understand what the streets bring. The streets bring prison. I'm talking about time where they got cages that separate each of you from each other. That's time and that's where you are not able to eat jello when you want to eat jello. Like this is what prison offers. Also, the streets also offer you maybe getting shot up or your family getting shot up. Things happen that is not good for you in the streets. So if you want to attach yourself to the streets, then attach yourself to the streets. I work with the guys who say that I want something different. Because once you want something different, that's the only thing that needs to happen for change to occur. I 